What is going on Java Minecraft players that play Java Minecraft with Zaleth Launcher? Today, I'm going to explain to you why the application game exited with code number one. But first, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to play Java Minecraft with Zaleth Launcher on your phone, because I'd like to reach 3,000 subscribers or more before March of 2026. Also, check out the entire playlist, as I have many videos covering everything you need to know about this amazing launcher to play Java Minecraft on the go. Now there is a code negative one, and I have a video linked in the description below about that. And there's also a code six that sometimes happens. I also have a video coming for that as well. Now the one error is very popular. A lot of people say I have code one and it's not working. Well, A, you probably did something wrong. B, you probably did something wrong. And C, I'm going to show you how to fix this potentially. And I say potentially because sometimes there actually isn't a fix for the code one because of Reason A. Reason A means that the mod might not be compatible with Zayoth Launcher on your mobile device. There is some mods that are not compatible at all for Zayoth Launcher, and I have a list of those on my Discord, and they just don't work, okay? Now, that is a problem with Zayoth Launcher on our phones and Android devices, and it's because of certain libraries and dependencies inside the actual mod itself that just don't work. Now, I implied or integrated a mod called simple discord rich presence if i go back into my mod section i'm going to actually delete that mod for a second and i click this download button i go to modernth and i look for simple i think discord or simple d which is right here and i click on this and i click on the mod it gives me a list of actual required mods very very important these are required for this mod to actually work it would be cool if Zales Launcher implemented an auto dependency download tool but again that's not for me to decide that's for the developer to decide anyways so this could mean one big thing first I'm going to download the mod itself this could mean that hey I need these other mods which it's telling me right here so go back, go back, go back. And I've showed you this in my video about fabric mods that you need all these other dependencies to actually get this to work. Now, I also have the fabric API already, so it shouldn't tell me to re-download it, but if it re-downloads, that's fine. And I think that's because the fabric API when you download fabric is a different name. As you can see here, let's see fabric API. Yeah, I have another fabric API and it's the same version anyways. So I'm just gonna delete that one so that it doesn't have duplicates. I'm gonna click on home and I'm gonna click launch game. And it's loading, loading just fine. And this simple discord rich presence seems like it wants to load as well. Let's go into single player. Let's go into my world. And here we go. So everything is working just fine and dandy for this simple discord mod. Now, I don't think this simple discord mod works properly on Android to begin with. It's part of the list of not compatible mods. And I don't know if maybe uh forge or not forge um Zaleth launchers team did something with this to make it work however i'm just letting you know that some discord mods don't work and don't work on certain versions because you don't have certain dependencies for that mod now another reason this happens which is something that happens a lot with people i'm going to use cobble mon i think academy is what it's called there it is right there so this mod pack right here somebody came into the discord the other day downloaded this and they were having a big issue with it continuously crashing take two now if i click on launch game this game is going to crash with that same one error and there we go this mod pack has a lot of outdated mods it has mods that aren't compatible and there is just too much work to even bother trying to get this mod pack to work unless you have a pc but if you have a pc just play this mod pack on your pc i know you want to play it on the go but this mod pack is very heavy it's very big it took forever to download and it probably won't play on most of your devices people said that they were getting like 5 fps and i don't I haven't tried it on my red magic but i tried it after i updated it and converted everything and removed a bunch of stuff which kind of defeats the purpose of a mod pack now those are the major reasons why the one error pops up and also another reason is because you didn't pay attention to the video about how to set up your device properly so like let's go to 1.2111 and let's call it test and where is that test one let's refresh this right there and in my very first video i specifically said hey you need to use a specific renderer for this to work which takes not even a minute to set up by the way not hard to do takes a few seconds Zaleth Launcher lets you set up certain renders and you'll end up getting that negative one error but that's another video all on its own 
So that's why that one happens. Some people get those two confused. If you get a negative one error, check out the video link below. If you get a one error, check out the video link below. Well, this one. Check out the video link below if you also get a six error, which is completely different. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with other people that want to know why they're getting that one error. Again, the gist of this is that it's either a mod, it's either you forgot to add a dependency to the mod, or the mod pack has mods that doesn't work with Android, which is also a big thing as well. If you get an error six, then check out the next video linked below in this video description.